I'm Dan. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And salty and ghosty. So today we are doing Eye to Eye. I, I have never heard of this band. Have you? Never heard of them. Okay, and the name of the song is Everyone's an Actor. That that title kind of interests me. So this song, we have said before, um, contrary to popular belief, because people in the comment section are always like, ah, they only do songs if you pay them. It's so funny because I was talking to one of our one of our patrons. She's like, I get so angry when people say that because she's like, I'm like, so you go to work for free? <laughs> so, um... Actually, that's one of the reasons why she jumped on Patreon was because she's like, I really like what you guys do and I, I'm supporting, I'm supporting it as, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, so this is one of the songs that is being done. There are a few ways to get your song reacted to without being, so one of the main ways is you jump on Patreon on the $75 tier and you can get your song just pushed right to the front of the line. Um, the other way is to jump on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month or as much as whatever and those dollars convert to points um, and we're gonna get a little bit more clarity on that from um, the patrons they're, they're actually gonna shoot a little video that we'll be able to add in so you guys can see um, but in the meantime uh, this guy just happened to be wearing his sorry secret shirt walking around Disney and another person from the village that knows our channel saw him and snapped his picture and sent it to us. Do we still have that picture? Well, I mean, we, we must. We if, put it in one of the videos. Okay, if, if we have it, I'm adding it in right here. So anyway, um, we told whoever it was, we're like, whoever this is, send us an email at Vin and Sorry. Uh, at vinandsorygmail.com and we will give you a free song review if you see this video and you want a song review for having your picture creepily taken <laughs> while you're walking around Disney. So the big homie reached out, Seven Dusted, and he was like, it's me, and he sent us another photo of himself there. And um, so this is a song that he picked to have reacted to. So eye to eye, everyone is an actor. Everyone's an actor. Go. <laughs>
Whoa. I liked that one. It's so funny because when it first started out, I was like, mm, but then I, I liked it. I liked the way he would say me. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what year this came out because I've been trying to find these guys. Uh, and I can't find them. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what year they came out. You literally don't know anything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's talking about the reality TV fad and with the opening lines here where it says... Where'd that go? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? I was talking about surviving, performance judge, da 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 da. There we go. Watch them survive in the real world. So Survivor's a reality show and the real world is a reality show. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's pretty clever. It's play, mm -hmm. pretty clever writing about the, uh, the uh, reality, reality TV fad. Which, mm -hmm. which, <laughs> I don't know if uh, Seven Dusted is trying to send us a subliminal message there. It's about regular people who will do anything to be famous, you know, whatever. whatever. Uh huh. And you know. Yeah, because they said it doesn't matter. Like, say anything about me, just but just remember my name. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So it, it's it's interesting. Is everybody's everybody's clamoring to be to be famous? Yep. And well, I think that that... Sorry, go ahead. No, go for it. I really think that that is true for a lot of people in a lot of cases. And I think that that's why you see like some horrible video um, where somebody's recording an event rather than involving themselves in it to help the person. Like, I think that people are trying to get like that viral video or whatever, which... Um, or like, you know, videoing... Like, sometimes there's like people that are in like super compromising positions and you're like... Oh my gosh, like this one is is terrible, but I saw this picture, somebody had posted it on Facebook, and it was this very large lady, and she didn't have any clothes, but she had macaroni and cheese all over her, and her, it looked, her boyfriend was like in the picture, like taking the picture of her, and I mean, to me, like, I'm not really into the food and sex mixing, but like, I felt I, I felt so upset for that girl because I thought it looked really humiliating and I felt like if that's what her and her boyfriend did in their private time, like he shouldn't have taken that picture and like put it out for the rest of the world. And so I feel like that people are not looking Why at did, the humanity. How, how did you even find that? It was on her Facebook. She had posted it. She ended up retracting it later. But she posted it on her Facebook, and then and she you was clicked like, on it. No, it was right there. It was just a picture. It wasn't like a video or anything. It was just a picture. And so she said, "Nah," you know what I mean, like on it, like, "Nah, she's not into that." But I felt immediately bad for that girl because I thought, I really don't think like the picture was. It was embarrassing. I thought, and I felt like if that's what they did in their private time, that shouldn't have been just put out there for everybody else. But I feel like sometimes people are not looking at the humanity of the other person and so they just post anything just to get you know clickbait or whatever or you know we were talking to that one one person that was trying to promote their channel and they were talking about oh well I need to get my girlfriend on with me so she can have low-cut shirts it's like so you're just gonna put your girlfriend out there like that just because you want to get views and you want to get subscribers like and I, and I think that that's wrong and I think that like when this is talking about like for for us we because of the like YouTube age, like you can be like semi-famous, even though you don't really realize that you are. Because like our channel has been viewed millions of times, right? How how what are we at? Yeah, like thirty-eight, something like that. Thirty-eight million. Thirty-eight million views. That's like crazy. Like I can't even process that number. When we first started the channel, we didn't even know that we were starting the channel. It was just you know Vin said. I saw him watching reaction videos. I'm like, what is that? I thought it was the most ridiculous thing on the face of the planet. And I'm like, I can't believe that people watch that. And like the next day he was like, hey, you want to react to a song? And I'm like, I mean, sure. So I sat down and that's that, when he played. It was that night. Oh, that night. He played um, Slipknot Sick for me. So you can look back. Our audio sucked. Our video sucked. But it was the very, very first one. And and from that one video, we started getting subscribers, we started getting comments, and I was like, how are people even finding this? 
and then it just kind of went from there like it wasn't it was just kind of something that we were doing it wasn't about you know getting famous or making money or whatever it was just about hey let's do something together and it kind of we were at the last concert and Vin like looked like turned around and looked at all the people and he was like we have more subscribers like our subscribers wouldn't even fit inside of this inside of this concert venue and I was like what it's like literally mind-blowing and so I, I just think like I'm not the type of person that like wants to be famous like I'm not willing to go to all kinds of lengths to get famous in fact when we first started it actually used to give me anxiety to know that I was being watched when I wasn't like putting myself out there I'm like we were riding in an elevator and I remember the moment where all of a sudden I was like I'm being watched right now by bunches of people and I don't even know these people that are watching me and it kind of freaked me out um, I've come I've come to terms with it since then but um, and actually the, the way that I was able to kind of come to terms with it was the content of our videos and focusing on the way that it helps people or you know the the situations that people have found themselves in the depression the whatever the loneliness and then our videos have helped those people so those are the people that I focus on when all of a sudden I'm like oh my gosh people are watching me right now I just think oh okay I'm helping somebody right now while I'm cooking my macaroni and cheese like I'm still out there for the public eye and the message is going out because of what we do so that was that was like really cool for me but like being all public and wanting to be famous is not something that I ever wanted but I will say all of my life I knew that I was gonna somehow land in a situation that was gonna make me known by a large group of people I had no idea it was gonna be YouTube but that was just something that I just knew about myself did you kind of know that about yourself too well I know that lady said it the irony in the whole thing is that you know I've had jobs where anonymity was mm -hmm. was uh, key <laughs> key and and you don't lose that mindset after you know a decade plus of, of that. So, it, it, and the strange thing is is that if we would have started the channel and somebody would have said, hey, Finn, X, Y, and Z thing is gonna happen because of this channel, I'm like, I get out of here. Mm -hmm. We didn't really realize what was happening until we went to the to our first show. Yeah. And we were blown away that people knew who we were. <laughs> no, somebody came up to us. They were like, "Vin and Story." Yeah. And it's like, and it's weird because like I get it. Like when you see somebody that, like you've only seen them on a screen, and then like all of a sudden they're in front of you, it's a weird feeling. And so people would be like, "This is so weird." Like, and they were like looking at us like we were like super special. It was crazy. Well, it was such a crazy feeling. Well, we were in Walmart last night and. A group of people kept looking at us <laughs> and staring at us, and yep. I was like, uh, "Yeah, you know, we live in a pretty small town." Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's it, it's it's very very interesting. But I, it just seems to me that, and you know, we're talking about reality TV, and you know, mm -hmm. the term reality TV is kind of bullshit because there's scripted responses, right. like yeah, they have like movie producers and all. And, like if you look at the credits of this stuff, you're seeing like, you know, these are people that work in Hollywood that are doing this stuff, mm -hmm. and it's all a lot of the people you see on reality TV are not people that you would see in the real world. It's people that look like her and, and stuff like it's like they're not normal regular people. And so, like the idea, the well, I remember when when the real world came out. You know, it was a bunch of, you know, the real world on MTV was actually one of the first times you really had, you know, even the idea that you're just watching people in real life and seeing what they're gonna do and blah blah blah. But the the personalities were so out of this world. I mean, it was ridiculous. You had Pac. I mean. You had tech. I mean, you know, only MTV watchers from '95 to '99 will know who the hell I'm talking about. But no idea. You know, it was it was just these crazy big personalities. And so even if it wasn't scripted, which some of it obviously was, but even if it wasn't scripted, it wasn't the real world. Oh, like those people. Yeah. Well, those people were outliers. You know, mm -hmm. and. And, and that's the thing about, like, there's really not a lot of rhyme and reason to what makes somebody famous. And what's ironic about this whole thing is, 
I think people can tell when people are acting. Like there is a particular guy that we used to work with and it was like, yo, bro, this is your personality, this is who you are, <laughs> yeah. this is the type of person you are, period. Um, and, <laughs> you know, yeah. he completely flipped his personality to try to be whatever and it yeah. just didn't work for him and it killed his channel. And, you know, and now, now he's, you know, it, it, right. it's, it's, come, come on, man. like. So it, that's the ironic part about it. Like, if you watch Alex Hefner, we were we've hung out with Alex, you know, over the over the phone and on video. Like the way he is on the videos is exactly the way he is in yep. real life. Yeah. And so, um, but again, if you look at his type of personality, he's got a big personality. He's extremely engaging, that type of thing. He's not a regular person, you know. There's yeah. like literally, and the thing about YouTube is. There are literally millions of YouTubers, and I think it's like a hundred, you know, a hundred thousand channels get created in a week or whatever. It's wow! Like, the competition level is so ridiculous that you know it it pushes people to to compromise who they are. And mm -hmm. a lot of times, if you listen to a lot of the experts, the YouTube, because there's always these YouTube experts. If you listen to those guys, then it. it it can be very, very easy to completely change who you are as a person to create this type of uh, mm -hmm. persona. Well, I think too that part of it is the comment section. Like the comment section, you know, talking to a lot of people, that's like the make it or break it for people. Like you, you get people there that are constantly commenting on really things that are none of their business for one, or you'll get people that are saying, you what know, do you mean? like how how I run my channel is not your business. Like, if somebody is saying, oh, like, like for instance, they tell us, I'm going to unsubscribe if you don't stop talking about your God. Well, that's none of your, like, if, if you don't like it, go to another channel. But, like, some people, like, that, that, like, is bothersome to them that somebody's telling them how to run their channel, and then they feel like, maybe they're right. Maybe I should change my, my per persona. Maybe I should change the things that I'm saying, so that way maybe I am losing a bunch of subscribers. We are both like alpha type people, so we're both like, well, if you want to go, go. We'll miss you, but at the same time, we're gonna we're gonna go on, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think you know that that's a major, you know, our stance on abortion, our stance yeah. on. There's on like God, areas we're not moving. That, we're not gonna budge on people. You know, one person I said something nice about Trump one time. They're like, if you say that again, blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. And that, that's the interesting thing about uh, YouTube, is that, you know, if you're watching MTV, they used to have this thing at the end of the season where the, the cast of the real world would sit down and then the audience could ask some questions and give feedback, etc. But that was at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. When the season was taping, you didn't hear anything. Yeah. And that's the thing, like old school media, if you shot a movie, two or three, Newspapers or whatever would do some review in the newspaper of yep. your of your movie, you know, or, or or whatever. But now, with this, you put out you put out you know the video, and then there's an immediate feedback loop. Yep. F feedback loop, and um, that Little thumb up, thumb down. Yeah, and if you're if you're the type of per see, that's that's what makes that's what separates YouTubers, I think, from. <laughs> Look, when we started the channel a year ago, there were a couple channels that we were, you know, kind of neck and neck with where they just died mm -hmm. or um, they just stopped posting consistently mm -hmm. and, and whatever. Like right now we're doing a, you know, a marathon of, of, of posting and recording to get ahead. But like, it, it's a very, very difficult thing. And if you're one of those people that lit, looks at the comments and takes them personally, now me personally, you know, I enjoy that stuff. That, oh, that's, yeah. that's why a guy like Ben Webb is is uh, is a very very like one of the channel favorites. He's such he's so contrary. I don't think he's ever said anything positive about us a single time ever. <laughs> I know. And you know, but you know, we we just have this t types of personalities that are going to do very well as far as being able to absorb that stuff. But there's a lot of people who take mental health breaks from YouTube because. Yep. They can't yeah. deal with the with the feedback loop. So when he says, um, "We all want the fame," say anything about me, just remember my name. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's really not true with YouTube. You know, back in the day, your agent would tell you, "Look, any publicity mm -hmm. is good publicity." Mm -hmm. You know, 
but because then they're talking about you. But the problem is, is that, you know, that's not true on YouTube. Like, it's not necessarily true that any publicity is good publicity. You might have a video that has, like, you worked, you know, three days on, literally, you know, for a combined total of, like, 15 hours, and then you put your whole soul into it, you put it out there, and there might be two people that respond to it, and both the comments are negative. <laughs> and people are not like that. They will take that down, they'll take down the video, they'll lock up the video. I've talked to <laughs> a couple of YouTubers where they took down the video because the feedback was just so mm -hmm. harsh, mm -hmm. and they couldn't handle it. We shot a video one time just telling people, because I had heard so many YouTubers saying it, and I remember we shot a video that said, look, even if they down thumb what you're saying or whatever. Yeah, we just it was a video on how to deal with trolls. Algorithmically, that that's good for you. It means right. people are engaging in your content. But you know, they, they it's it's people can't get over that psychological hurdle. So the type of fame that is created by YouTube and, and Instagram, like we were in the mall one time and we we're doing a live stream for people and you couple teenagers were around us like are you Instagram famous da, da, da. and it's like if you have to ask somebody if they're famous then they're not famous <laughs> that's so true that's so funny so it's like <laughs> it was such a strange question to me well like, no honey that's not don't... necessarily true because there are whole groups of people that don't even know who corn is but corn is famous within that sub within that genre I would say that you know ten years ago corn was famous oh um, where it didn't matter if you knew them or not, you you knew who they were. No, I'm saying I've met people who haven't even heard of them still. It doesn't really count in Maine, to be honest with you. I mean, like I said, 10 years ago, if they would have been walking down the streets in New York, people would have known who they were, 100%. Maine is, is different. Um, but I, I just... It, so it, it's not really, it, it's, you're kind of half famous on Instagram and YouTube. It, it's still controlled by the subgenre. You know, if I went to a, you know, a hip hop show, nobody would know who I was. Right. You know, but it's the fact that, you know, it's a metal show. So obviously you're going to run into people who know who you are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't, I don't think that really counts as you being famous per se. But at the same time, you're, it's not, you're not a regular person either because, you know, regular people don't have people staring at them in Walmart. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it... It's something, I don't know what it is, but it, it is something. But I, I do, like, and you know, I, I'm a very, I get overloaded pretty easy if I'm around too many people for too long of a time. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that I, you know, I struggle with a lot locally back in the day when we were doing other stuff, like people would just, you know, crowd me and, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Um, this is much better because it's only gonna happen when I go to a rock show. You know, like yesterday when they were staring at, we were, well, the, the worst one was we were in a court situation for some really, really serious stuff, and we get out of the elevator, and the guy's like, Ben and Sorry, oh my God, and like, we were in it's court weird. for, <laughs> it's really weird. This is really, really deep stuff, so that, that was pretty I was crazy. like so stressed out coming up that elevator, and like, we came off, and they were like, Ben and Sorry, and it was like, weird. Yeah. Because I was like, wait. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty tense situation, and then you yeah. know, there's a guy that was mega happy to see us. Did he want to take a picture or something like that? It was so oh, was I cool. don't know. He, he we we kind of moved quickly because <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, we're all here for the same reason, man. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, and I, I think the other thing is, I I think that there are there are people who are like starving for that type of attention, mm -hmm. and you yeah. know. And even in our little, the little subculture that we were in before we started the channel, we were like, we were famous in our little, yeah. you know, Christian yeah. evangelical subculture. And, and you'd have people that were mega jealous to the mm -hmm. point of like complete resentment. And I'd always say, I'd trade places with you. Like, you know, it's not what you think it is. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Being an evangelical star is not, is not fun. Um, but, you know. That's something where, you know, it's like a rich person saying, you know, like, <laughs> I was talking to a guy who was upset and he killed his channel, you know, and I said, oh man, that's, you know, yeah, YouTube's hard, you know, and he goes, yeah, you and your 126,000 subscribers, he was very resentful, but, you know, at the same time, there, there's a lot of things that you sacrifice to, to make for success, but it's very, very interesting mm -hmm time in our in our cult country I don't know I mean I don't know what the next thing is gonna be um, but you know it's um, 
And sometimes when I see, you know, like I said, when I used to watch Real World and stuff, uh, like it would, that was the other thing. Like whether or not it was scripted, you knew that there was a camera. Yeah. In your house, in your in your whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you're kissing this girl, you know, there, it's imp you know I've heard people say after, they go, oh, you don't even know that the cameras are there. Like, come on, man. We've been doing this every day, two or three times a day for a year. I still know the camera's there. I still know to look at the camera. Like, you know, so during the, even in the real world, it was like, how real could it possibly have mm -hmm. been? Because in the real world, there are not cameras everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not being watched by millions of people on the most popular network for young Unless people at the time. Man. So, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just a weird thing. And the, the, the idea of fame and why so many people want it is, uh, is, an, interesting, mm -hmm. is an interesting thing. It, it just, fame to me is one of those things where you want it desperate. It, it's like being a kid and you want your birthday to show up. You know, you're constantly counting down the days to your birthday. And then when you get older, you want to avoid your birthday at all costs. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's like that. Like people, oh man, if I can this and people could recognize me and they could see I have some sort of value or that I'm unique or whatever whatever that sets me apart from other people da, 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 da. and then the minute I've never really met a famous person who who's ever said and I've met I've met some we've met some famous people in 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 different subcultures or whatever and and uh, I've never heard anyone say I love being famous never heard anybody say that ever so you know I don't know I don't know, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. And you know, we're speaking about it from a position of uh, privilege, I assume. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe there's some angles that we're missing because like I said, you've always been famous in your little subculture. Yeah, And yeah. Uh, you know, I've always been, you know, so it's, you know, everything that, that I've always done, I've always ended up being some, ah. Yeah, and I think that that's <laughs> why we didn't have the like, I want to be famous feeling was because we we're already getting enough attention in the circles that we were in. Right. So, but I think that if you are never getting recognized for who you are and for your talents and stuff, then the desire to want to be recognized and fame seems very fun to you. So, this one when it said cuz everyone's an actor, we all want the fame. Just say anything about me just uh, but just remember my name to me. That reminded me of the shootings and when people do that for that reason. That's what I thought of. Yeah. So, yeah. That that's true. Yeah. And, and I've really appreciated the media has has made a decided swing, and I think it was New Zealand. We were following New Zealand's lead, where New Zealand didn't name the guy, but they just talked about the victims and yep. all that. And I, yep. you know, I think that that's very, very, very Absolutely. important. Very important. Absolutely. Uh, what do you give the song? It's a ten for me. I really liked it. Yeah, it's an eight point five. Uh, okay, wait, sorry, nine point five, because I don't think it was like. 10 level, but 9.5 because I really liked it. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's an 8. I think it's an 8.5. Um, I think it was it was very very interesting, um, good concept. All right, there you are, Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.